It's for the good of our economy. It's growing stronger and stronger. Bad news for President Joe Biden. Inflation rose 3.5 percent for the year ending in March, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. While the White House has been emphasizing recent declines in inflation, an update to the Consumer Price Index reveals otherwise. The rise in headline inflation is more than expected an unwelcome development for the Federal Reserve. Recent readings on both job gains and inflation have come in higher than expected. The Fed has worked to drive down inflation for two years now by raising interest rates. The latest report casts uncertainty over the timing of the Fed beginning to trim rates. Reducing rates too soon or too much could result in a reversal of the progress we've seen on inflation and ultimately require <clears throat> even tighter policy to get inflation back to 2 percent. Annual inflation peaked at about 9 percent in June 2022. While it's now much lower than it was, growth is still running higher than the Fed's preferred 2 percent level. The Fed's interest rate target is now 5.25 percent to 5.5 percent where it's been held since June. The higher interest rates are causing some pain to consumers. The average rate on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage has risen from under 3 percent when Biden was inaugurated to over 7 percent. The reportedly strong job market has given the Fed more wiggle room to keep rates higher for longer.